around with some bikes again um, not gonna be my bike uh, not this time in the last video um, we got a new bike in our garage it's not mine but uh, it needs some adjustments so we're gonna do a few adjustments on it and the bike we're talking about is this one right here so we're gonna make it more comfortable so a couple of the things that uh, I've already done um, one of them is this uh, brake pedal. We lowered the brake pedal down. It was uh, about up here, at least a good diameter higher. And uh, we lowered that down. And that's by this adjustment right here. So I just loosened this nut up and then I had to pull a cotter pin on uh, this right, right back in here. I was able to slide this little casting off from that stud and twist it in, tighten it back up, lowers this down. I've, I've used just about all of the adjustment, but you can see here when I push this in, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, that's as far as it goes. So that's your brake movement right there. And then the other adjustment I made was over on this side. And uh, I believe I pointed it out in the last video, Brenda, um, she wanted uh, a heel shifter, but the heel shifter with the stock position of the toe shift um, made this a little bit too high. So she had to lift her heel up too high. So we made an adjustment on that and that was easy to do. And that basically is uh, a couple nuts right down here that uh, we loosened that up, slid that uh, back and forth and I was able to lower this down it lifted this up a little bit but still it's, it's a, a good compromise between the two now the next adjustment we're gonna make is what this video is all about and uh, that's a quite a bit bigger adjustment uh, there the reduced reach um, handlebars these are stuck and because I am reach challenged we are putting um, the extended reach or the reduced reach handlebars on okay uh, all right, so what we're going to need here is we're going to need a few tools, not too many. Um, a couple Allen wrenches and a Torx thing, and uh, that's pretty much all we're going to do. And a towel to cover the tank. I think the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to take the windshield off and just to give us more room so we don't bump into it. And that has a quick disconnect, but it also has a couple security screws right down there so we're going to be taking those out that's the first thing we're going to do so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a towel on the tank okay i don't know how cold it is but it's cold here in michigan all right so we're going to loosen these two up um and uh we'll get that off i'll hold on to it so it doesn't fall and one nice thing about having two people do this as opposed to one is um, we don't scratch anything. I'm supposed to be the safety guy to keep this from falling. And the camera guy. And the camera guy, yeah. We don't have any power tools to do this right, but uh, that's okay. It'd be a lot faster. That's fun, though. Yeah. How are we doing here? Yeah, you do. They're I pretty. You want these I, all the I way out then? Yeah, I take them off all the way, and then this piece is gonna fall, so don't let that drop on the ground. And now we have some electrical connection that we're gonna have to remove. Let's see where that goes. <clears throat> that goes okay. That goes right inside. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take those out. Let's see if that works. Yeah. We're not professionals, as you can tell. This is, uh, this is, uh, Speak I don't know. Speak for yourself. You, are you a professional? I am. Yeah, are you? Okay. I'm not. So, we're just, uh, 
I'm just going slow so that you don't get lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're welcome. Okay. There you go. Okay. Got the screws. Okay. We uh, still got wire connections. Okay. All right. There. And you take this cover that's in my hand. Put those on the table. Let's see what we've got. All right. Let's take these two screws out. You hold on to the whole mechanism when you get the other one out. And uh, this side should pop off. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna hold on to this because this has got the reservoir on it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll hang on to that for a second. Okay, now we'll just bungee that up. All right, and get that out of the way. Oh, now this is just like the other one. Yeah, this one's like the other one. So we'll get that undone. Yeah, okay. That comes off. That com okay, so that's a cover. And now we've got some more of these things on here. Do we want to do it the same way as last time? Or take it off first? Or what do you think? The problem is... Well, it might be easier just to, this time to do it while it's here. Now that we know how to do it, like I can push the release and you can pull with the needle nose. Okay, all right. So uh, let's get these two wires off. Yeah, what we're talking about is there's these little pinholes, and I'm right not sure there. right there. You got to push on that before, before, before you You can pull feel it up. pop. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we're going to take these next two screws out, this one here and this, this one here. Uh, put that over there. And then this should pull right off like that. Isn't that nice? Woohoo! Yeah, and then this is the next thing we gotta deal with. This is plugged in, and I think it's inside there. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to disconnect this thing, which is uh, for a throttle. And there's a wire inside the handle, and there's a little pin down there. And so we have to push in on the little orange spot there and uh, disconnect it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. So let's give it a try. Okay, we got the throttle uh, cable disconnected and now we have three here, another one in there. We're gonna pull those through and uh, see if we can get them out of the bars here. I think we should be able to. And we'll just pull them out of here. All right, I think we might have a problem with this one. Let me take a look at it. Okay, in the process of taking this apart, it's possible, yeah, we did. Right there, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of super glue. I was pushing on the wrong thing to get it disconnected. That's, all these clips are different and uh, well, we'll fix that one. No big deal. All right, so that side's out. Now what we'll do is we'll get these in. Put those in the hole here. Here we go. What do we have? All right, we got this one's coming out. It's a good thing that these aren't difficult. Okay, those are out. Okay, so now let's get the uh, bars off. Um, I don't know. So far, those wires, getting the wires out was a bit of a bitch there. Um, how you doing there, kiddo? It's just a little awkward, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, there's two of them are on the bottom because of the way this housing is set up. And, uh, two on the top. So, we'll get the bottom ones out. I'll hold on to the bars. You doing supers? <laughs>
All right. Okay, now you take the gauge. I got the bars. Okay, we've got the new handlebars on. That looks pretty cool. Uh, the biggest noticeable difference is this bend comes up a lot faster, closer to the gauge, and it's, it's smaller in this direction. And these bars are pulled back a little bit more. Brenda's putting the last two screws on the bottom. So that'll be all four screws and it's roughly positioned. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna build uh, this side up first. What we're gonna do is try and build up the throttle side. Um, I have to work on one of the connectors because I cracked it. So I'm gonna get a little super glue and fix that. Well, we got part of it uh, back together. We have to stop. I have to go get another part. So I'll show you what we've done so far. We've got this side's all done. So we've got that all put back together. Um, got all the cables through here good. And I uh, had to do it a little adjustment here to try and get this to fit through here. And I put a couple tie straps and now it doesn't hit the tank. Because with these new bars here, so one thing you have to watch out for is when you uh, go to a full lock in this position, these come very close. They, they miss, but the way this thing is set up here, I had to bring it out a little bit. And I put a couple tie straps here, which is no big deal, that's, that's fine. Uh, so that keeps it off from the tank. That's in full lock. So everything clears. And unfortunately, uh, the grip that goes on here, uh, the way that that works is it interlocks with this, this switch control and the new grip. I'll show you that. Now, ignore the mess here. Um, so it happens when you're doing a project and you don't have all the right tools. But uh, right here, you'll see that there is a, a, like a little lip. You hold that. Okay. Now we've got this all too marked. Too high. Huh? Don't put it up too high. Putting some glue on here. That's good. They said to put a whole bunch on. There we go. That's enough. All right. Now we know how this goes on. Let's yep. see, we got this little square notch, and on we go. Where's the square notch? It's right there. Right there, and I push it in until I get to here. Yeah, that's where we want it, right? Right there, right there. and right there. And now we just wait. Okay, so next step is take this tape off. Don't move it, and we'll get rid of the tape. Come on, tape. Okay, tape's off. There we go. All right, so now we have to put these couple screws in. And uh, Brenda's concentrating, getting those in. Very difficult to uh, get yeah, all of this really, put really, together. Oh, is that right? Look down. See that? Is that angle supposed to be that way? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it is. Yep. Move your finger again. All righty. Well, it's kind of hard to to get those uh, screws and the uh, wires. We will uh, neaten that up a little bit. All right, this was uh, kind of a fun project. Go ahead, and let's see if everything's working. Yeah, that looks that sounds good. <laughs> that All right. Sounds right. <laughs> All right, everything seems to be working. That works. Horn work? Yeah, the horn works. Okay, good. Everything else seems to be working. Well, that's good. How do you like to feel? It's good? So much better. Is it? So much better. All right. Yeah, I'm back in the seat now. Yeah, Instead yeah. Instead of sitting up here. Yeah, you've been really nice on it now. I think that worked out really good. I need my, uh, my platform. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need your, your boots on. Riding boots. The yeah, only thing that no, I would suggest. Yeah. The only thing I would suggest that we do now, and this was suggested by Gary over at Spartans, is we adjust your shocks so that they're at the softest setting because you're only like a hundred and a couple pounds. So you're pretty lightweight. 
So we're gonna make those softer for you. It's set for like a 180 pound person right now. Oh, yeah. So, so we're not gonna do that now. We'll do that some other time. But uh, yeah, everything's cool. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the arm looks good. I think so. The levers are set up pretty good. Uh, okay, all right. We did it. We did it. How about that? We didn't. We didn't screw too much up. Until next time.